Bye. Okay, so um, if you haven't already um, seen or watched the video on loading the reward, you want to refer to that one first. Um, if you've already done load the reward, then welcome. We're going to do loose leash walking. Um, there's a lot of reasons to teach your dog to walk loose leash. It's enjoyable. If you don't have to worry about your dog pulling you, um, it's also safe to have a dog who responds to their leash. Uh, the concept of loose leash is just simply that. You want to be able to put some slack in your leash. Uh, tension can be transmitted through the leash to the dog. So if you've got a nice smile on your leash, what a cutie. If you've got a nice smile on your leash, then you know that there's no tension and you're not telling your dog be on guard. Um, you want to have a nice, relaxed, enjoyable bonding experience with your dog. Ready. Okay, so there's a few tips that we need to talk about um, when you're uh, walking with your dog. Uh, the first one being, um, anytime you're walking your dog, if you have a dog that's reactive, you want to be able to make sure that you see what's coming um, as soon as or before the dog sees it. If you see something coming that's going to upset the dog, you just want to do what we call a 180. You simply turn around and go the other way. Um, it's a nice easy turn and, and you're off and um, away from whatever it is that triggers the dog. So the 180 turn is a really important thing to remember when you're walking. The second tip, and I can't stress this enough, a walk with your dog is not a forced march. There's a, walking is enrichment. Sniffing is enrichment. It engages your dog's brain. Um, they, a dog has, um, a human has six, six million sensors for smell. A dog has 600 million sensors for smell. So their sniffing is so enriching to, to them um, it's part of the walk, and you need to give them time to, to get to know their area.